So we want to begin tonight with a huge leap forward in the development of a vaccine against coronavirus. Volunteers all across the country, including a member of our own CBS News family, began getting shots today as part of the final phase of testing for an experimental vaccine being developed by the NIH and the drug company Moderna. Tens of thousands of Americans are needed for the trial, and test sites are spread out across the South and West, which continue to be hard hit by the virus. Tonight, Florida now has more total infections than New York, which was once the epicenter of the crisis. Among those cases, 14 members of the Miami Marlins, who have now tested positive, forcing two Major League Baseball games to be postponed and calling into question the season. We also learned today that the virus has once again spread into the West Wing. The White House says Robert O'Brien, the president's national security advisor, has tested positive and has some symptoms, making him the highest ranking administration official to get sick. And as we come on the air tonight, more than 147,000 people have been killed by the virus in the U.S., and there are more than 4.2 million confirmed cases nationwide. And in a sign of just how long it may be before life returns to normal, Google said today it expects its employees to keep working from home through next summer. Well, there's a lot of reporting to get to tonight, and our team of correspondents is covering it all. CBS's Meg Oliver is going to lead off our coverage from one of those vaccine test sites in New Jersey. Good evening, Meg. Good evening, Nora. Hackensack Meridian Health is one of 89 testing sites across the country. Many are in hot spots battling the infection, which is crucial to figure out if the vaccine works. But a new CBS News poll found only 30% of Americans would get a vaccine as soon as one's available. A little feeling of pressure. The Moderna vaccine trial got underway at 6.45 this morning. Don Baker got the first dose. And how are you feeling? I feel as if nothing happened today, although I know something very big did. Sorry, thanks for joining us. The, the TV the anchor at the Baker. CBS affiliate WTOC in Savannah, Georgia, is one of 30,000 to participate in the phase three COVID-19 vaccine trial. I got tired of just sitting here worry that I can't do any more than wear a mask and try to stay away from people. Half will receive the vaccine and half will get a placebo. Baker doesn't know which she received. Each participant will receive a second dose 20 days later and will be monitored to see if the vaccine can effectively prevent infection. You will know probably in uh in about six months. Six months. See. Dr. Ihor yeah, Sawchuk is Hackensack Meridian Health's the, uh, chief research officer. Are we getting ahead of ourselves or are you convinced that this could work? I think we have to be cautious. It's always better to err on the safe side. But with the early promising results, I think we can be a little bit optimistic. The Moderna vaccine is a new kind of technology. It uses a piece of RNA genetic code, which tells the cells in the body to make a modified safe version of viral protein. That protein triggers an immune response to fight the virus. This is a very significant milestone. Dr. Francis Collins is the director of the NIH. This is the first of several vaccines that are going to be coming along quite quickly. So people are going to be hearing a lot about this. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Hackensack, New Jersey.